Morning guys. Cold wet day here in Thailand today. 16 degrees when I got up this morning and raining. Rained all night. Just a small light rain. But uh, not normal weather for this time of year that's for sure. The cold yes but not the rain. Okay I've been shopping. Yesterday I went to uh, the Konken festival. It's basically a festival for farmers. <laughs> Lots of food, lots of plants, lots of uh, animals, unique plants, and stuff that is not common around here. But uh, we didn't buy any of those. I'll show you what we did get. This here is my wood chipper. I've only ever seen these in Thailand once before. One guy had one. He wanted uh, it's either 15 or 17 thousand baht for it, which I thought was ridiculous. And I didn't buy it. This one cost uh, 8500 so basically half of what that guy was looking for two years ago. He did a little demo. As you can see, it's a little faded out. I'm sure he's had it for a long time. It had never been used, but it works good. Should be fine. It should make uh, getting rid of uh, all the tree branches from the goats a lot easier. Plus, I'll have wood chips, which will be nice. And I bought me a rice mill. There's so many different rice mills on the market now. Ranging in price from this one was 16,500, which is the bottom end, to 60,000, you know, that's that $2,000. Got all glass screens and you can see where your rice is going. And it's pretty cool. This thing looks basically homemade. I haven't used it yet, don't really know how, it, how to use it, but uh, the rice goes in the top and the clean rice comes out, the shoot right there is pretty, pretty basic setup, but this one, unlike all the rest, has two hoppers, on this side, you can make uh, like rice flour, or corn meal, stuff like that. It's got uh, two different size screens for in here, which is for separating. Uh, it might be interesting. It would be really good for breaking uh, field corn or dried corn for chicken feed, that's for sure. Or any kind of beans or anything for chicken feed, like soybeans, which is used in a lot of chicken food as the protein. I think so, anyway. So that would be something to play with. But I got me a... Uh, a rice mill. <laughs> Something I thought I'd never buy. But there it is. Now, in this half a barrel, I have. I can get in there. Baby quill. And they put wood chips in their water. They're eating a lot, too. So there's 10 in here. Supposed to be two boys and uh, or twelve, two boys and ten girls. Hopefully we'll have some uh, quail eggs soon. With there's uh, two options. They had a lot there for sale, an awful lot. But most of them were already egg laying. You buy egg laying birds, you don't know how old they are. So I bought the babies. These are only twenty baht each. Which I think is really cheap, but the full grown ones are 40 baht, which is still really cheap. Really cool looking, makes a really cool sound. But I need to uh, build somewhere for them to live now. A quill house, another project. But they're doing alright, I was a little worried about them. Pretty cold here today, but in this barrel out of the wind, they're doing alright. They need food and water. I'll get that done. The one at the end of the feeder there, sleeping. And over here, under the rice house, they're a little hard to see, I have three Rhode Island red chickens. Two ends and a rooster. So hopefully we can breed these guys and uh, get some meat birds out of it. 
they had uh, three options there actually and all good choices they had the Rhode Island Reds the Bard Rocks like I already have or my roosters of Bard Rock and they had uh, Leghorns so all good choices 250 baht each for these they look to be about four months old I would think four months old they're not uh, laying yet but uh, I'd say two more months and we'll have some good eggs. So that's it guys. Got some toys, quick trip to the city. And now we have to build a pen for these guys. I'm gonna go buy the stuff for that now. Here under the rice house they'll get 25% of the of the space here. So that'll be good for them. It's only three birds. Actually that'll be a lot of space for them. And uh, then I gotta find something to build a house for the quill. Always something to do. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> the new toy. Okay, they got a little more room now. They got water, they got food. They don't have a roost. I need to build them a roost and find some way to hang their feeder up. But right now, they look cold. <laughs> it is cold. It's the coldest I've seen it in Thailand for a couple of years. It's pretty easy to tell which one's the are the ends, the girls and, and the rooster. As soon as the chicken starts to feather out, you can, uh, they're easy to tell then, easy to sex. The rooster don't have any tail feathers. You see him, the guy is standing over here. He's got no tail feathers at all. But the ends do. Especially this one right here. That one, she's got a nice tail. So for sure she's an end. And then uh, the bigger one, him, that's the rooster. Roosters don't get their tail feathers until late, and then they get much bigger tail feathers than the chickens. Okay guys, well that's it. Thanks for watching this, uh, what probably ended up being a really long video. Hopefully these guys will be nice and comfortable in here. And tomorrow, I'll make them a roost.